All right, guys, welcome to the channel. Thanks for joining me today. So we're looking at this new pool vacuum cleaner. This is a robotic cleaner. This is the uh, Dolphin Nautilus CC Plus with Wi-Fi. I wanted to pick this up. Uh, it's fall time. I'm trying to get my pool cleaned up. My existing cleaner is just not working that well, and so I want to get something new, and this has some cool reviews. I want to get this open up, show you guys exactly what's included, how to use it, some of the features, and we're going to test it out in the pool. Looks like the instruction manuals. It comes in a nice little booklet there on top. This is for up to uh, pools 50 feet in length, so it's got a nice long cord to it. This does have the wall climbing ability, so uh, if, you know, clean the water line, the walls, and the floor of the pool. And then the other portion is the uh, power control box. So it looks like we have a uh, give some instructions on how to connect the robot to the Wi-Fi. This plugs into the you know your wall outlet and then the vacuum is going to plug into here and this is going to sit probably out on the pool deck while the vacuum is going around. So it is a corded vacuum which I think that's going to be better because it allows me to cycle it on and off. I don't have to get it out of the, the water and charge it every time I want to clean it. So cord here, does have, it says 18 meters so I'm guessing that's the length of this cord. I think I want to check because I want to check the filters on this because some of these robotic pool cleaners have like a mesh filter, some of them have a finer filter. This one says it has a finer filter and that's why I, that's why I got this one. Okay, this back portion opens up. Looks like the filters. Right, this was one thing that I was curious that I couldn't really tell from the pictures. You can see this this filter is like a really fine mesh. Now I don't know how it's it, it'll pick up debris just fine, but I'm curious how it's going to work with dirt because I've had a few other of these in the past that it, that where it would be, be fine for debris, but it wouldn't get the dirt. It'd still expel the dirt out of the exhaust of this. So I guess we'll see how that works. So looks like there's a double double filter compartment, so almost four of these mesh filters, and it looks like they come off just twisting that and these mesh filters will come off you can clean them spray them off so it should clean up easily so just make sure you orient those correctly close it down right, I'm just gonna get all the wrapping off it there's wrapping around these nice soft bristles these are gonna help scrub the walls the floors the sides of the pool the, the bottom I just I'm just in my app store on my phone here I just go to my dolphin plus download the app so we're gonna get the app downloaded so I just created my account on here. You just put your name, email address, password, you go on. You select the type of power supply, so mine's powered. I'm just going to plug in here, standard outlet. And then we're going to take the end of the robot cord, orient the notch here. You can only put it in one way. And then, and then there's an O-ring, so it looks like it does create more of a waterproof seal. Because this is going to be sitting out on my pool deck while it's in. this is in the pool. So this is probably going to be... I'm going to make sure this is weatherproof. All right, let's see what the app tells us to do here. All right, yes, it's plugged in. Put the robot in the water, turn it on, stay close to the power supply. Okay. So let's drop this in. One thing I like to do with these is at least hold the cord and help slowly lower it down to the bottom. Even though it just floats, it just sinks down slowly, you just want to make sure it doesn't hit hard. It can break the wheels, it can break parts. This is a longer cable than the one I've had in the past, so this is nice that it'll read. This is only about a 39-foot long pool. All right, let's continue. So find your robot. All right, now you're going to find your Wi-Fi. So I connected it to my Wi-Fi, entered my password in, it set everything up, so it says it's good to go. You can see on the box here it's got a green light. That probably means ready to go. So I'm going to go, let's clean my pool. And you can set, actually set up clean cycle that's pretty cool so here we can just turn it on uh, no swimmers in the pool start cleaning it looks like it really moves the water quite a bit like it's really disturbing the water a lot more than my other vacuum so it looks like it has a really strong suction and exhaust so it'd be interesting to see how well if one cycle it'll, it'll go throughout the whole pool and clean everything up you can kind of see the bottom's a little dirty there's just some dirt and debris some leaves on there.
so as we're watching the pool cleaner clean it does it's doing a pretty good job it's cleaning up the dirt the, the debris it is cool to see it go up on the sides it will climb up so that is one of the features it does climb the wall it's going to scrub the water line also it's always connected so it's always going to be connected to this box and you got full control with the app so i think the app's a cool feature because i can just be you know in my house i can just turn it on set a schedule really operate it without having to come out here and manually turn on and off this uh, power box to it the filter loading it seems very easy the two compartments the filters come out really easily so i like that it has a smart navigation where it will intelligently map optimal pool cleaning coverage so it's going to go throughout there i will be interested to see if it will cover the entire bottom of my pool that cleans all this up because mine is not a traditional shaped pool it's got some curves to it and so that historically seem to throw off, thrown off pool cleaners in the past so we'll see how that that goes so we'll let it run here and come back and see how it how it's done all right guys so i've let this go for a couple of days uh, uh, i've actually probably had it go like five cycles through the pool it seems like every cycle is about two hours it'll go for two hours and it'll stop using the app is really simple to just turn it on Turn it, turn it right back on. I did have a couple times where I turned the app on and I came out and looked at it and it was moving around the pool, but the app said it was like, wasn't communicating with the, the robot. So that was just a little glitch, I guess, but it was nice to be able to just turn this on and off so you can leave it in the pool. Um, so since it's gone about four or five cycles, I wanna take it out, I wanna see how much dirt it's collect. I wanna clean out the filters, just see what that process is like. And then we'll kind of wrap this up. I just wanna carefully pull this out, bring it up to the surface. And I'll grab this handle once it gets to the surface. I'm going to let a little bit of water drain out. The pool's pretty clean. It did a good job cleaning it. So a little bit of feedback on this. Uh, one thing I noticed is that it does like to spend a lot of time at the surface, which I'm not used to that. My other cleaner didn't, didn't climb up the walls. This thing climbs up the walls. And it actually would like go around the whole edge. And it would kind of get hung up on a lot of the stairs. I have a lot of stairs in my pool. And so it would get hung up on that. And so I don't think the floor of the pool got as clean as maybe my other cleaner because this is spending, you know, 45 minutes of the two hours up on the walls, the sides and the stairs. But let's get these filters out. These come out really easily. And then open this up. We're just twisting these little knobs here. And we can pull the Looks like it's got a lot of the really fine dirt, big leaves, small little bugs, so it's got it trapped quite a bit. This looks easy to clean out. I'm just going to take this to the hose and just spray this out. So once you get this, these filters clean, they just go back together really easily. There's a little snap lock on top. A little groove that the filter goes in. The ridge part faces the inside, and so you got two, two of these to reassemble. Once they're clean, you can just pop these back in. You do have to make sure that this opening goes. They they are staggered on here, so I'll just put this one on that side, and this one goes on this side like that. So it's ready to go back in. All right, guys, so that's basically an overview of this uh, robot. This thing's done a good job. I, I think it cleans really well. It traps a lot of dirt and debris. Easy to clean out, easy to, to replace the filters, easy to clean them. The app feature is really nice. I really like that. I like that it has the Wi-Fi app, and I've been able to control it really easily from my phone. I haven't had to come out here to the pool exactly. So this is a great robot. I'd say the only downside is that, is that it spends a little too much time scrubbing the surface, the water line, uh, you know, going up the walls. But after a couple cycles, it's going to get the whole pool, so it's done a good job. I'll leave a link to this down below, guys. Be sure to hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel. We'll see you in the next one. Thanks.